Welcome! In this video, we shall introduce the method of Lagrange multipliers in solving constraint optimization problems. We learned how to find extremum of a function of one or several variables by the derivative test. For example, for the function fx equals x cubed minus 2x plus 5, we can use the first or the second derivative test to find the local maximum or the local minimum. If we only allow x to be within the interval x greater than or equal to 0 and x less than or equal to 1, then we shall also check the output value at x equals to 0 and x equals to 1 to determine the global extremum by comparing the outputs of all local extremum and these two endpoints. We also come across optimization problem with given constraint, such as the following problem. Find the dimensions of the rectangle with maximum area given that the perimeter is 10 meters. We can formulate the question as follow. Let x to be the length and y to be the width. We wish to maximize the function f x y equals to x times y. The constraint is the perimeter to be 10 meters, that is 2x plus 2y equals 10. So the function f x y is the objective function and the equality here is the constraint equation and it describes the restriction on the variables. The next step we will do is to rewrite y as 5 minus x and substitute it to the function f so that it becomes hx equals x times 5 minus x and proceed with the derivative test. However, next time we may have another objective function and constraint equation, such as having fx to be x squared plus y squared and the constraint equation to be x squared plus xy plus y squared equals to 3, then it is not always as easy as the previous case to make a substitution of y in terms of x. We shall discuss the method of Lagrange multiplier. This helps us to solve this kind of optimization problem with an objective function and one constraint equation. Here we consider the situation when the objective function has two input variables, that is f of x, y, and there is one constraint equation, namely g x y equals to a constant c. The method of Lagrange multiplier tells us that if we want to find the maximum or minimum of the function f x y subject to the constraint g x y equals to c, then the procedure is that first we determine the first derivatives of the function f and g. Next, we introduce a parameter which we call lambda and solve the following simultaneous equations for three unknowns x, y, and lambda. It is known that if there is a maximum or minimum to our optimization problem, then the point which it occurs which is at the point x0 and y0, together with a value of lambda, will satisfy this simultaneous equation. Therefore, by solving this system of equations, help us to get potential points which may be maximum or minimum location of our optimization problem. The parameter lambda is called the Lagrange multiplier. We shall explain why this procedure works later, but let us illustrate how to use this procedure by solving some questions. The first one is the same question we have seen. We want to find the dimension of the rectangle with maximum area given that the perimeter is 10 meters. We formulate this constraint optimization problem into an objective function f x y equals to x times y and the constraint equation 
2x plus 2y, let us denote it as g of xy equals to 10. The Lagrangian method tells us we first compute the first derivative for both functions, and then we let lambda to be a parameter. We solve this simultaneous equation for the three unknowns x, y, and lambda. That is, the equation y equals to 2 lambda, x equals to 2 lambda, and 2x plus 2y equals to 10. In our case, we get lambda to be 1.25 and x equals y equals 2.5. At this po position, the function output gives 6.25. We can check whether this is actually a maximum value by considering some other points and see whether the output is less than 6.25. So we consider that when x equals to 2 and y equals to 3, and we need to make sure that this point we check fulfill our constraint 2x plus 2y equals to 10, and we check that this gives a function output to be 6, which is less than 6.25. Therefore, the point which we get is a maximum point, and this means that the dimension of the rectangle is having a maximum area when the length is 2.5 meters and the width is 2.5 meters. This gives a maximum area of 6.25 meters squared. The following are the graphs of the objective function and the constraint equation. When we want to find the extremum point for the function f x y equals to x y without any constraint, we consider all points x, y in the Cartesian plane to see which points gives the highest or lowest output or settle point. Now, since we have a constraint equation 2x plus 2y equals 10, we restrict our variable x and y to satisfy this equation. That means we only inspect points on this purple line to see which point x, y gives the highest or lowest output for the function f of x, y. The corresponding outputs are only those in this yellow line. If we think of f, x, y as a mountain, then the output under the constraint will give us a path on the mountain. The values of x, y we obtained from the Lagrangian method, that is, x equals to y equals to 2.5 in our case, gives the location at which the function output is maximum on this yellow line. In our case, the highest point of this yellow line have a value of 6.25, which occurs at the x y equals to 2.5, 2.5. This point is not necessarily a critical point of the function f, x, y itself when we don't have any constraint. You can also refer to the following diagram for the same problem with another view angle.